Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Hey, uh, today we're going to show you something. Um, if you looked at our video from uh, Oki Homesteading Expo, sorry, I'm looking for holes in the ground so I don't trip and fall because uh, we have a real bad armadillo problem here and they're just digging holes and I don't know why. But anyway, they're armadillos, that's what they do, right? So anyway, we went to the Oki Homesteading Expo and uh, uh, Amy from, uh, our friend Amy from Living in Abundant Life, Terry will put it up here. Um, sorry, my brain, it's early in the morning. Uh, gave us some quail. Uh, and we, uh, we have the white uh, Caternix quail and these are brown, uh, I believe they're still Caternix. Um, they're basically meat. Is that a coyote? Hang on, be right back. Okay, that was a coyote. Um, but by the time I got inside and I came back out with uh, my thunder stick, um, he was gone. So anyway, the old eyes could see far away, just not up close, right? So anyway, uh, Amy gave us some quail and we're incorporating that into our, our flock for our meat quail. Guys, I know I'm coming. You guys are pushing me to the limit today, okay? Between you and Batman, okay? FDR, I'm coming. Look at me, I'm opening it. See, this is what I have to go through every day. That's why I'm glad I have a job. Because these mouthy chickens. All right, there you go. Everybody's happy, okay. So we incorporated the uh, quail into our flock. They're just chicks, okay. Um, but if they're the same age, as ours, uh, seems like they grow a little bit faster. They got their feathers faster and stuff like that. But hey, um, needless to say, we're gonna see if we can crossbreed the different kinds of quail. They're still Caternix quails. So if somebody's out there that knows more than I do and I'm getting into some crazy, I don't know, voodoo, uh, quail breeding system, let me know, okay? Because uh, I would really love to know if I'm screwing this one up. So anyway, guys, uh, so we got them. And then Terry, if you remember, got her 21. Actually, it came in, there was 23 in there. And one died, in I think, in shipping. Or something happened in, happened in shipping or something like that. Uh, but she ordered 20. They always give you like 23 in case something like that happens. So that's what they did. Um, but we're going to show you those chicks. They're doing really well. Um, again, Terry's going to have to put up here because Big Mike don't know the names of these. Uh, they're like queen cinnamon queens or uh cinnamon roll queen something i don't know she picks them out and then the other ones are rhode island whites i mean i guess they just gave them the name they're not really the same as rhode island reds but who knows she says they lay a lot of eggs and that's what we need we need more eggs on this farm right so anyway guys but we did come up with a solution when we have too many eggs guys we got a homeless shelter downtown. They take donations. They'll come out to uh, our place and pick up all the eggs we're willing to donate to them. So, hey, be kind to one another and help somebody in need. Remember that. And they have a veterans section just for veterans in this homeless shelter. Helping a vet. There you go. Um, anyway, hey, I hear Kitty Mao over here. Uh, he wants out because he hears my voice. Right, Kitty Mao? There goes Kitty Mao. Like clockwork every day, guys. 
Hey, kitty mouth. Where's Georgie? Do you know where Georgie is? I don't see him either. I know. Uh oh, what was that? Anyway, Georgie's out doing Georgie things. So anyway, guys, here's the uh, disaster I call a shop, but I love it. Brittany, stay out of my shop. So anyway, so here are the quail. Now, the dark ones we got from Amy. Uh, there's, there's four dark ones. Yeah, four dark ones and two light ones. And she's saying that the light ones are the males and the dark ones are the females. I hope that is the case because I don't need four males and two females. All right. And then there are the ones, the white ones that we're, we raised. Um, for our program. Is it a program? A breeding program? So those should only have one male over here. And that's the one we, we, uh, we bred and hatched and all the other males are in freezer camp so there you go guys we've got these i don't know what the, i'm guessing they're they're caternics but or are they pharaohs or what are they somebody help me out here amy help me out i don't know what you gave me but i'm pretty sure they're caternics they're just a different color so we're happy to have those. We're gonna feed and water those here directly. And now here's Terry's little chicken brooder full of chicken eating whatever these things are. Here, let's open this up. All right, scatter guys, scatter. Yeah, scatter, yep. Do you want to say hello to everybody? Say hello. No? Yep. They got the flock mentality. So. So right now they're getting their feathers and they're looking dorky. Okay. Till, I don't know what kind of pattern is on those cinnamon queens. I hope I'm saying that right, Terry. So, hey, you guys quit that. You gonna say hello to everybody? That's a cinnamon queen. So, it's not all cinnamon, so I don't know what they're going to turn out to look like. And then the white ones, of course, are the Rhode Island whites. Yeah. All right, guys, I got to get this pine shavings out of your water and get you set up for the day. Okay, guys? Everybody excited about this? All right. All right, chickens, the chicks are fed, the quail are taken care of. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. I gave Kitty Mouse some uh, food. Uh, the chickens are out doing chicken things. They're probably stalking me outside here. Yeah. They, uh, they like it when I throw scratch out in the morning. Terry doesn't do it every day, but I do. Let's go check out the bunnies. Uh, see what's going on here. They got water. They got water. They got hay. Oop, sorry. They got pellets. They got pellets. They got hay. So they should be good to go. Let me get this thing turned around. It's right at my eye level. 
All right, Rachel. She's doing Rachel things. I'm sorry, I'm all over with this camera thing, right? So, uh, get this thing turned around. So if you watched our videos from before, tell me if you noticed something missing, okay? Tell me if you missed something that was out here before. You can't guess it? Well, the windows are gone. On our other videos, I had a trailer full of windows that David at Come On bought at the recycling center. And so David came down, dropped off Uber's trailer right here, picked up Babe's trailer and took that to Arkansas. But uh, before he did that, he uh, dropped off four trailer tires in the back of this one because that has another story all by itself. There's a reason why David dropped off the tires. Can you guess what it is? And nope, it is not for that horse trailer there, but I'm gonna leave it at that because that's David, David at Come On's secret to tell, okay? So, but what we did do yesterday, what we did was we mowed. If you do not keep up on the mowing here and do it every week, it will get out of hand quick. Remember that movie, Hunt for Red October? Yeah, if we don't come bring this thing to a screeching halt, it's gonna get out of hand real quick, or words to that effect. But we did mow it, it looks nice. Um, and that's what we're going for. But we gotta, hang on. And I know what you're going to say. But what about the weed eating? <laughs> I hate to weed eat. I will get on that gravely and I will mow, mow, mow. I hate weed eating. And if I can get that blade up on concrete and do it at an angle just to cut the, the grass so I don't have to weed eat, I'm your boy. That's right. That is right. Um, but anyway, guys, that's what we did. That's what we got. That's the update this week. Um, if you want to know what David's doing with all those windows, go check out David at Come On Homesteading or Come On Keeping It Real, um, one of those two, and see what he's up to. Good friend of ours. Absolutely love him. And anybody, we want to help anybody we can. So i uh, been getting a lot of phone calls about that recycling center. Lots of them. So anyway, guys, hey, be kind to one another. Help someone in need, and always, always think of that. Now, this vet's going to go inside because Miss Terry's making biscuits and gravy this morning. All right, guys, we love you. God bless you. We'll see you on the next video. All right. What are you doing? Okay. I thought they were the chickens were sneaking up behind me. <laughs>